Hello and welcome to Our Toronto. Last year, CBC Toronto shared a special project called Her Story in Black, showcasing black women who've marked our place in Canadian history. But we thought about the up and coming young black women who are already making a big difference in their communities. And there are many and we're sharing those stories in a new series called Her Story in Black, The Next Generation. This week, we introduce you to a grade 12 student who's letting empathy guide her career choices. Little did Henrietta Obeng know, this book she picked up one day would determine her future. It's called April Rain Tree. April Rain Tree actually put the icing on the cake for me because it was about a girl who, a native girl who was kind of like thrown out her house and she kind of like had to like go live with fo in foster care but then in her foster care she, um, she was treated bad, she was being abused every day, she was kind of like neglected and isolated and every time her social worker would kind of will come and um, do like an uh, evaluation of how the house is going, she would tell uh, the social worker what everything that's happening but the social worker wouldn't believe her. So day and night she had to like go through the abuse and everything. The story stuck. Henrietta felt for the characters and she knew their struggle was very real for many kids. And that's what kind of like made me want to do it because I, there's a lot of kids in their foster homes that are going through abuse and neglect and isolation every day. So that's what made me want to be a social worker. I had two options. Either I want to do social work or like something with fashion. So I kind of like talked to some people about like my friends on which I should do, like which is more me. And they told me that social work is more me because I like helping people. So I, I was kind of like, I kind of researched a lot about social work, like what does social work do? Because I don't want to say like I want to do social work and know nothing about it. So I kind of like research on Google what social work does. And it's more than just helping people. It's kind of like bettering people's life and helping them with their family situations. But social work is kind of like a broad, um, career. It's not only like helping people and family and children and stuff like that. It's feminist work. You can work with in the hospitals, you can work in schools and other stuff like that. So but for me I kinda like want to work with children and like adoption centers, CAS basically. Henrietta is full of energy. She is just totally effervescent in the classroom. She has lots of ideas. She has lots of um, sort of forward thinking uh, uh, aspirations. Uh, she has a passion for uh, anything related to social justice, uh, helping the community, supporting the community. Empathy for those who need help but may not be able to help themselves. And Henrietta is putting that empathy to work. She's a member of local school trustee Tiffany Ford's Student Advisory Council. For me to, to set up the advisory committee was really about student voice uh, and how they, how they feel in, in the classroom. Westview Centennial is Trustee Ford's old high school. She knows the impact students can make. As a trustee, I can advocate all the time, but when our uh, superintendent and executives hear from students and see through their eyes how they feel about their schools and what they feel needs to be changed, that's, that's the selling point. So it, it's not just me, but the student voice, which is really important, and to empower them as well. Henrietta took the opportunity to use her voice to highlight an issue she felt strongly about, accessibility in the classroom, particularly with the desks that are attached to chairs. They cater to a specific size and I know not everybody's like small enough to fit in those chairs. So we kind of talked about like kind of removing those chairs and kind of like taking the stigma off or you have to like, it's kind of like a discriminating in a sense because if a bigger person or even a disabled person were to come and sit in those chairs, they wouldn't be able to because it's not catering to them. So that we kind of like wanted to get those fixed. Trustee Ford says there is now a plan in place to replace those desks. A clear example for all students, the determination can get results. And it's empowering. It makes these kids know that, you know what, I might be going through this stuff, this might be my story of the past, but I can challenge that story through education, I can challenge that story through career choices that allow me to be advocates for my community and advocates for other people who are dealing with a lot of social injustice. It's given Henrietta a sense of accomplishment and pride, something she wants other young black women to take hope in. Don't follow the stereotypes. There's a lot of stereotypes of also being a black female. That's kind of like intersectionality. So like, kind of like don't follow your st the stereotypes and do what you want. And don't let anybody bring you down. <laughs>